Like and subscribe for Epic V-Buck please I need money to feed my family. What is up guys? Today I will be talking about all of the good things about Roblox Islands or Roblox Skyblock. A few days ago I was talking about how bad Roblox Islands is. But today I will be talking about how good the game is. For instance I really like the ability to be able to travel to people's islands that are not in your server. It gives people the ability to make a lot of money and people can buy what they need. Like for instance I was on an island and some guy gave us a lot of title spell books. I got 16 title spell books which is a lot of coins if I sell them. I was trying to find some propellers so that I can make an automatic washing station but did not find any. I respect the developers of Roblox Islands but sometimes their updates are not too good. But I respect that they update their game weekly so the game doesn't get boring. There are also a lot of new items in the game and new mechanics that are really nice. Like the ability to brew potions in the new spell books. There are also new bows and other cool updates in general. But there are also not so cool things in Roblox Islands. Some things I touched on was having to buy pro rank a $23 rank. Just to share your island. I would understand making it a VIP rank, only but spending $23 just to share your island is kinda ridiculous. It makes the game basically pay to win. But you can still can join other people's islands which is still good. Also they added trading to the game which people wanted for so much. But instead of making a trading system they added a shop system. So it made it where they had less bugs and you could not duplicate that easy. Of course I'm talking about vending machines. There are also a lot of blueprints in the game now that give you things like tables and couches. You can also get blueprints for two weapons currently. These blueprints are the title spell book and vampire bow I'm pretty sure. The game also gives you the ability to be very creative. If you look on the Roblox Islands Twitter you can see a lot of cool islands that probably have took hours making. You can also make big farms to make cool farms. But one big downside to farms now is having to spend 1 to 2 million coins just to make the crop clean. There is also a new expensive crop in the game which is star fruits so now you can make a bunch more coins by making farms out of that. But they are extremely expensive and cost like around 100k each seed. But if you get a few seeds you can just keep replanting and have a chance to get more seeds. Overall I feel like there are much more pros than cons in Roblox Islands. But my biggest problem with it are the insane grinds for propellers in the micro translations and having to pay for anything that makes the game really fun. Like jukeboxes and being able to share your island. Anyway that's it for today's video sorry if this one is a little bit short. Make sure to like and subscribe for some more content. Peace.